Hey everyone, welcome back. This is the second tutorial in our series on building our own AI assistant, Sophia. If you haven't seen the first tutorial yet, I will give the link above here, make sure to check it out. In the previous video, we set up our project and designed the initial structure using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Essentially, today's agenda includes creating a virtual environment, installing EEL module and then connecting the backend with the frontend. We will discuss the virtual environment and EEL module in the detail later. First, let's open the terminal. Click here and then open new terminal. Here, we will create a virtual environment by typing python dash m v e n v and here write name of virtual environment I am writing e n v Sophia. Okay, as you can see the virtual environment has been created. These are the files of virtual environment. Now you might wonder why we need this virtual environment. The simple answer is that we need to install some modules and we don't want those modules to be installed globally on our system. So all modules will be installed only in this project. Now let's activate this virtual environment. To activate it type env sophia then script activate as you can see our virtual environment has been activated okay now kill the terminal here and instead of writing this command again and again to activate this virtual environment you actually can select an interpreter first click on this python file and then here select interpreter and we created this environment env sophia Okay, select the interpreter. Now our next step is to install the eel module. But first let's discuss why we need the eel module. We need the eel module to connect our backend with the frontend, allowing us to call python functions from the javascript and vice versa, means calling javascript functions from the python. To install it, first let's check its documentation. Open chrome and search here eel python click on this link ok first copy this file to install it here open the terminal and here first activate the virtual environment so write env sophia script and activate now paste it pip install eel So the eel module has been installed. Now let's link our frontend with the backend. First kill the terminal and here open your HTML file and in this file we need to add a script and here check the documentation. Here copy this tag and paste it in index.html file. Next, open the main.py file and here we need to write some configuration. First, import OS module and then import eel. Next, we need to create a function to specify the directory where our frontend files are located. So type eel init function. This function will be used to point to that directory where our frontend files are located. Since our frontend files are in www folder, so in this write www. Okay. Previously we were opening our frontend in Chrome browser like a website like here. Uh, this is like a website in Chrome browser. Now we will open it in desktop app mode similar to how we open other apps in window like uh, we open MS Word, open notepad like here, notepad. This window of notepad is from MS Edge by default. But you can use any browser like Chrome to open this in app mode. So right here os.system and then here write start chrome.exe 
next give this function a flag app for app mode right here app equal and in this provide the url for the localhost of your project like http and localhost then write port number 8000 and then write index.html next tell yield which file is the frontend file by writing yield.start and here write index.html then write mode equal chrome and next write host equal localhost and at last write block equal true this means we are starting with index.html using chrome running on localhost and blocking the process until it's close now run this file open the terminal here or you can simply run this file from here okay so guys you can see our front end has been opened in app mode okay finally let's commit this project to github close it and here kill the terminal and also notice we have a lot of files here for virtual environment and we don't need this file to upload as we can install these on any system easily so to first exclude these files create a file here dot git ignore and here give the path of virtual environment as Sophia. Save it. Now commit this and here write the message like second tutorial complete. Commit it. and here click to sync changes this will push these files on github okay guys that's it for part 2 if you enjoyed this video please hit the like and subscribe button thank you for following log see you next time